Connor's back to be sewn up. But his dog bitten legs become infected, resulting in an inflammation around the edge of the wound. So A&E's Dr D needs to do a spot of trimming before opening up the sewing box. Once the local anesthetizin, you won't feel anything. OK, that's a promise. First, the area around the gash is anesthetized. Then, out comes a scalpel to cut away the inflamed skin. Although it might look like butchery, if the contaminated flesh isn't removed, it will infect the whole area. And Dr D's knife skills finally seem to have wiped the smile off Connor's face. Oh, get it! Can you give me a surgical blade? Yeah. One surgical blade. <gasps> You can stand there and laugh, Mum. What are you doing? No, just keep quiet. I have to remove the edges of the wound to make it fresh and to stitch it because it was a bit rugged and it was a bit angry looking. So I have to trim the edges to make the approximation properly. This is what we call secondary closure. Ten days later, Connor returns for a checkup. Though it looks, the wound margins look slightly red in colour, but there is no obvious infection in it. Although he'll be left with a scar, Connor's still smiling. Welcome to Northampton. <laughs> yeah, he's very cheerful and uh, he, he's not worried about what's happening to him, you know. He just ignored it and carrying on with it, you know. Even if he had not stitched it, he might have been just, might not have bothered about it. It's we are bothered about it. And this shaggy dog story is finally all sewn up. I'm the king of the dogs.